why didn't the atheist promise that without religion, people will still have morality? Because what's happening in London right now, it doesn't seem very moral to me. And, and I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus, but I believe in grandma. Grandma would go to church and the priest would say, hey, uh, if you misbehave, you burn in hellfire. And, and that freaked grandma out enough so that when she went home and her communist nephew would come home, she would apply a correction. I like, like grandma was real. Grandma existed. But for some reason, grandma did needed a little bit of religion to function properly. I wonder, like, what, what these people's grandmas have to say about this. So, <clears throat> the, the main issue that you have here is, is not the fact that you have, like, just a couple of individuals that broke into a place. Because, like, this can happen everywhere. Like, every nation has its burglars. Every nation has its criminal element that needs to be separated from the law-abiding citizens with prisons. Like, we, we do have that. The issue is one that is of lack of morality. Like, like, Britain has been subverted to the point where you have enough people justifying this behavior that it can happen and it can be normalized. So, in the view of the left, you have Chef Gordon Ramsay, and, and he is completely detached from the rest of society. He is the other. Why is Chef Gordon Ramsay the other? Is it because of his personality? No. Like, if you actually read and study about the life of Chef Gordon Ramsay, he seems to be a pretty nice individual. Now, the issue is that he is wealthy. And, and when you become wealthy, you become the other. You're, you're kind of like you're, you're not entitled to your human rights anymore. So basically, they are justifying that what is happening to Chef Gordon Ramsay is good simply because he is rich. And now everyone else that isn't as rich as Gordon Ramsay, like someone that just has a coffee shop or, or you know, someone that just has any type of small business... Uh, needs to pray that the compassion and kindness of the criminal isn't going to apply to their business what they did to Gordon Ramsay. And, and then if you have a nice house, if you, if you just happen to have a nice place in London, you, you again, you know, you need to, to bank on the compassion and kindness of the squatter that they're not going to ruin your life as well. So, so this is like how society needs to function, right? Like you need to pray that you're not the next in line. You're, you're not rich enough. To drag the ire. And what is rich enough? Well, we don't fucking know. It's subjective. Do you live in a mansion like a sun piker? Yes. Well, are you gated by a community? Do, do you have like... Are, are you a representative of Black Lives Matter and you manage to become wealthy? Well, do you have a big fence around your house? Because it matters now. You know, it's kind of like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> the, the first problem is the way that the society is defending the act of these individuals. The second is naming them as well, like squatters. What What the fuck is a squatter? No, it's a burglar. It's a criminal. It, it, it's a member of society that needs to be segregated from the rest of the law-abiding citizens through the bars of a prison. I, I wonder, like, what, what happens in Britain if you don't pay your BBC license? Can anyone tell me? Because I, I know it's getting expensive now. Like, what, what, is, what is going to happen if you don't pay? Because I suggest, like, they treat it that seriously. Like, uh, they, they should make it, like, someone should make it so that these squatters somehow don't pay their BBC license. I, I don't know how, but, like, just make it that, that, and, you know, the law will come back another way, and, and, and maybe then justice is going to be done. What the leftist brain doesn't understand is, like, first of all, you're normalizing this act, right? Like, you're just normalizing that you can walk into a person's business and completely take it away from them. They, they do not understand that human life is tied to their private businesses. You cannot have an independent human being if they have a business. Well, actually, this is what they understand because they want you to rely on them. They don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to have your own money and be successful, right? But the, the main issue is that more people, when they see this, and, and they will see, well, if Gordon Ramsay can have his business invaded and the authorities do nothing, then maybe I need to make sure that I'm not going to end up in the same situation because I'm not going to rely on the kindness of communists to make sure that they don't rob my shit. So now what, what they're going to do is like, if they have another place to rent, they're not going to rent it. Oh, oh my son is 16. Well, I'm just going to ask my son to live there because uh, otherwise, if I rent it, you can have a squatter taking advantage of it and then I won't be able to get my apartment back. So... By not renting it, oh, now the housing market, oh, the prices are going up. Holy shit, oh, why is this happening? Oh, what a day, what a day. 
So on, on one hand, you, you got like all these leftists that consider people like Chef Gordon Ramsay and other. Uh, you, you have many, oh, you, you benefit from multiculturalism as well. So you have like the other cultures that are looking at Chef Gordon Ramsay and like, well, he's not one of us. I mean, try pulling this shit in a mosque, by the way, or try pulling this shit with a Muslim uh, that, that's a pillar of his community. Right and, and go into his business and try to do this and, and see what happens. See, see see how fast the reaction is, because they're not going to tolerate this. It's not going to be a debate. It's not going to be like oh well, what are the no like immediately you're you're going to end up vacating the premise. But anyway, right. So <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, they they also turned it into a soup kitchen for the poor. In other words, all right, so we did crime, but, but we're doing this nice gesture as well on the side, so we're the good guys. Why, why can't you do a soup kitchen from your own house? I mean, do, do you honestly need the, the Chef Gordon Ramsay restaurant in order to do the soup kitchen? And I guarantee to you, like, like this is my take. It's not going to last. They're not going to make food for the poor for more than a couple of months so that the cameras can, can catch the image. And w when the cameras are rolling, they, they get to, oh, we're doing the food stuff. But when the cameras stop rolling, they're going to start doing the drug stuff. I, I guarantee it to you. Like, this is my prediction. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but but I, I, I don't think so. Because uh, I've seen it happening in the past. You know, they, they're like, oh, yeah, we're doing this into a food kitchen. Usually when they don't steal shit, like they, they manage to actually get a place legally. And at first they actually do it a food kitchen. But then the, the, the comrades start arguing with each other. They're, they're starting to bicker. Uh, some people leave, new people come in and eventually it turns into a drug den and they completely destroy the place. And obviously they destroy the place. I mean, if it's not your place, if you didn't spend money to, to make it, you're not going to respect it. Like, why should they clean up? Why should they actually treat the place as if they live there? I mean, if they destroy it, they don't have to repair it. So people aren't going to be as careful. Um, but anyway, right. So apparently this is the $13 million pub. Um, and and you, you get the question. <clears throat> like, if it happens to Chef Ramsay, which has the $13 million pub, the person that has, like, the $1 million pub, like, what guarantees do they have? that they can still operate a business there. If I was in that area, I would just leave. I, I would pack up my store and go somewhere else. And then every single person in that neighborhood, good luck finding jobs. Good luck finding jobs when the business is shut down. I mean, this is literally what happened in the United States in Detroit. It was a very wealthy state, was doing very well. And then the businesses just left. So if, if you were born in Detroit, and I think like in, in some areas of Detroit, it's still true. Even if you want to get a job, like, you can't because no one hires you. Like, there are no businesses. And this is what happens. It's called the capitalist flight. The communists have a name for it. It's very bad. Horrible. But it's reality, and, and they're experiencing it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.